Well, we've logged into Girona's Writers, and I assume that you know how to log into the thing. You just have to put your username and password in there. And basically what I want to show now is how to put in a page. On the pages is where you're going to put your individual works. We click on pages on the left-hand side there. Within this section here, we've each got a section to put our stuff. Here we have pages that have already been set up. So for instance, here's my page here. If I click on that, I can go in there and edit it. You can change the size of this if you want to, just by bringing that down a wee bit. So on my page here, basically I've just put a picture of myself in there and a little bit of uh, text, a small amount of text. This basically is where you, on the, main, on the pages that are already set up, they're the sort of header pages as it were, this is where you set up your information about yourself. And uh, maybe you want to put some information there about what your, what your goals are with writing and so on. Just a general stuff about yourself. Okay, so that's all fairly easy. When you finish, you just click on Update Page. If you want to put in some new pages, then what you're going to need to do is you go to uh, uh, Pages. Make sure you don't go to Posts, because that's going to put it onto the front page. Go to Pages and click on Add New. Now I'm going to add a page in here. This is to do with uh, something I'm working on. So let's say uh, podcasting for Mac 20. So this is a page that I'm going to put in there something about my podcasting on Mac 20 questions. So this is my Mac 20 questions podcast. Okay, now what I've done is I've gone to a different... I've gone over to my Mac 20 questions. I'm taking the last post that I put on there. Just basically show that you can how you can copy and paste something. And uh, that's the stuff that I've just taken, and this is where I'm going to put it into here. Okay, so this is a new page that I'm going to add. And if I add this page straight away without doing some little things to it, this attributes uh, section over here, it's going to be a main, a main page, and we don't want it to be a main page. We want it to be a, we want it to have a parent page. The parent page is the page that we have already set up. So I'm going to go down here, and the parent page is going to be David Allen. You can choose the order in this here, but I'm not going to. You might want to have a look down at the bottom there and just check to make sure that the page author is set as your name. So click on Publish and away we go. So let's uh, have a look at the site. Now then, this is the way it works. We have a list here of members and you see David Allen is there. And podcast for Mac 20 questions is the post that I've just put up. If I had not changed the attributes and change the parent page then this bit here podcasting for Mac 20 questions would be in this list over here and we don't want that okay you see Tony's got some stuff in there he's got his Barcelona chapters so we click on Barcelona chapters there this is one of Tony's pages and this is his uh, Barcelona chapters so this is where your title goes look put in some text you can put pictures in there as well if you want to put pictures in you have to click on this button here I'll show you how to do that in another one, I think. Let's not get too technical with this one. So I've posted the stuff in there. I've gone over to Attributes and made sure that my name is in that one there. And I've also gone down below and made sure that in the page author, my name is in there. And that's how easy it is to put in a new page. And when you've done all your changes and everything, just remember to uh, click on Update Page, otherwise there'll not be nothing there. Let's just go back to uh, this one here. Go back to the home page. and go to members and podcasting for Mac 20 questions and you'll be able to see the post that I just put in there. Podcasting for Mac 20 questions. There we go. It's in and there's even a video in there. The amazing stuff you can do with WordPress.